Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about a way to give other people credit when working together on commits. Uh, this is specifically for GitHub. I believe GitLab has a similar feature, uh, but I'm less familiar with theirs. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so for today, we're going to be working on GitHub, and I'm going to create a new repository just to demo this. Test repo plus ignore doesn't really matter what the repository is. We're just going to create one, and that way we can clone something. If we do get clone, uh, utility slash test repo plus ignore. And let's just say that we made any sort of normal commit. Uh, allow empty. Just to show you oops, what it looks like normally. So normally when you make a commit, uh, it'll be associated with whatever user and username you have set up locally. And so that'll come from your git config here. And you'll have you know your name and email. And GitHub is going to pick up on this email field. And if this is associated with your account, the commit will show your little icon here when you look at the commit. So you can see this is associated with my username. Uh, and that is because the particular email that I used got associated here as well. Uh, actually, there's a way to configure multiple emails in your GitHub account as well and make them private or whatever. Uh, but this is, you know, this is the one that I have hooked up with my account. I actually have a few from my previous jobs as well. So there are other commits floating out there that don't use this email address. Uh, but sometimes you might be working on something either in like a pair programming setting or something where somebody gave you either a chunk of code or suggested an idea or something like that. And you want to give them credit for what you've uh, committed here. And Git itself does not provide a good way to do this because uh, a commit really only is associated with the author and the committer. And usually those are both whoever is running the commands on the terminal. Uh, but fortunately, GitHub gives you another way to give people credit, and that is through a special metadata-ish field inside of the commit message. So if we make another commit here, allow empty, and say this is the new message, you can actually add another field here that is co-authored by, and this uses the same format as what you would see in um, in the uh, author field here, but this part is just part of the commit message. So this is just entirely separate metadata and you can put someone else in here. So let's say I put my buddy Chris in here. Uh, oh my God, I always spell his name wrong. <laughs> uh, I think it's, this is his email address. Well, we'll find out when we go through with the, <laughs> the commit message. Uh, but if we put that field there and we push this up, uh, it'll now show that Chris has authored, uh, co-authored this commit. Oh, I must have messed it up. Uh, or they have this disabled. I have the right email address. Oh, I have the wrong format. <laughs> right, it's supposed to be... Uh, you're supposed to use the brackets to denote the email address. Right, of course. I have their email address over here, so I was like, I'm pretty sure I spelled that right. <laughs> yeah, so you have to use brackets just like that. And if we force push this now, you'll see that this commit now has given credit to both Chris and me, even though, I mean, I'm the one that committed this. Um, and you can do this to give anyone credit for a commit as well. Now note sometimes you won't know what their email address is, and sometimes they have their email address private. There is another way that you can give other users credit without knowing their specific email address, and that is to use the reserved GitHub email address. And let me show you how you can do that. So let's say I have a double account. <laughs> uh, let's say that we wanted to give this account credit for something. Uh, now for this, you need to know the bot's username and you need to know their user ID. And the user ID is a little bit hidden. Uh, you can get it from the API or the way that I usually get it <laughs> is to uh, grab their profile photo. And this little number here uh, will be their user ID. So if we copy this, 3480432 here, and we're gonna make another commit. Uh, empty, a third commit, and we're also gonna use that co-authored by here and give them credit. And uh, the name here doesn't matter so much, so we could just say, uh, that snakes, <laughs> whatever. And then the email address is a special format, and I have this noted down here. It is user ID plus username. Dead snakes issues bot 
issues bot at users.noreply.github.com. So if we uh, spread this out here. So this is the email address that's specially reserved uh, for your user if you don't know the user's actually, actual configured user um, uh, email address. And if we push that up, we'll see that we get a third commit here, and you see that it has associated this with my Dead Snakes users or Dead Snakes issues bot uh, account as well. Also, note that you can combine these as well. So, if I were to oops, allow empty, that's what I get for doing empty commits. You could also, uh, you know, put in put in um, oops, that triple click does not work in that program. Uh, you could also put in multiple of these co-authored buys, and GitHub will render each of those for you. Uh, so this is just kind of like a, a neat way to give whoever worked on the commit credit for it. Um, anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.